हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अल अबाउट नार्सिंग चैनल सो आज के भिडियो जो आलोचना करब द नार्सिंग केयर प्लान अफ अ पेशेंट उइथ शक सो बेसिकलि इन एनी शक सो देयर इज अ रिस्क फर फ्लुइड भल्यूम डेफिसिट इफ इट इज हिमोलजी और हाइपो भल्यूम सो सो फार्स्ट डायगनोसिस कैन भी फ्लुइड भल्यूम डेफिसिट रिलेटेड टू एक्सेसिव लसेस लसेस अफ फ्लुइड रिजल्टिंग फ्रम द हेमोरेज सो इन केस अफ पेशेंट हू आर इन शक सो देयर इज सो एखे कि सबजेक्टिव डेटा इज मिसिंग पेशेंट कैन भी आनकसियस सो इन दैट के सबजेक्टिव डेटा इज मिसिंग सो अबजेक्टिव डेटा चेक बै द अबजार्भेशन एंड बै चेकिंग भाइटल सैन्स उ कैन सी देर इज डिक्रीज इन ब्लाड प्रेसर एंड इनक्रीज इन पालस रेट ओके सो दैट इज अ सैन दैट डिनोट दैट पेशेंट हेज हाइपो भल्यूमिक एंड इनटेक आउटपुट अल्सो द यूरिन आउटपुट बिकम डिक्रीज सो द डायगनोसिस उ कैन रईट फार्स्ट That is fluid volume deficit related to excessive losses of fluid uh, due to hemorrhage. The goal is to maintain the fluid volume, adequate fluid normal for, um, uh, fluid volume. So planning we can give the assess the patient's fluid loss and uh, maintain the intake output chart, maintain the intake output record. So we have to profuse infusion of the uh, fluid bolus. infusion of the fluid we have to give to the patient to maintain the hydration of the patient then we have to check uh, again check the uh, dehydration that uh, the capillary field skin target vital signs okay and and if the patient needs oxygen you have to provide the oxygen okay so next diagnosis can be decreased cardiac output related to ineffective cardiac function okay so same objective data amra vital signs dekhbo so you have to check the vital signs so to maintain the goal uh, will be to maintain adequate cardiac output of the patient for maintenance of the cardiac normal cardiac output adequate cardiac output effective cardiac output we have to give the same fluid volume the uh, bolus infusion of the iv fluids and have to closely monitor the urine output the uh, cardiac that is uh, bp pulse respiration blood pressure and we have to give the inotropic agents as per the doctor or physician advice to maintain the contractility of the heart okay normal contractility of the so next diagnosis can be so decreased cardiac output that is second diagnosis and uh, third diagnosis can be ineffective cardiac tissue perfusion okay so due to the decreased cardiac output there can be a chances of ineffective cardiac tissue perfusion okay so that the management is near about same we have to give oxygen in in that case but the third diagnosis we can write that is ineffective cardiac tissue perfusion other than that we can write uh, that is uh, self care deficit anxiety uh, that is activity intolerance all those are there besides that that is a common diagnosis but the major foremost diagnosis is the risk for bleeding risk for injury okay uh, so uh, the main first diagnosis is fluid volume deficit decreased cardiac output ineffective cardiac tissue perfusion all those are the major diagnosis